Hi everyone, welcome to Tech Talk Tuesdays. I'm Eddie with Certification Partners. And today we're in episode two, part three, where we're having a conversation with Ruben Garcia, the CEO and founder of Certiverse. Certiverse is a great partner of ours who is helping us develop course material and exams using artificial intelligence. Today in our conversation, Todd actually flew out to visit Ruben and his team where they're going to be talking about everything from early childhood education with certifications and certificates to entrepreneurship to um, how artificial intelligence is being utilized in the in the industry of certifications. So let's jump into their conversation and learn a little bit more. Hello, my name is Ruben Arturo Garcia, and I am the CEO and co-founder of Certiverse. I'm an entrepreneur. I am a technologist as well, and you know, I don't I don't think people realize that we're um, this is you know this is uh, Certiverse. You know, we, we focus primarily around helping uh, organizations launch cert the certification mm -hmm. programs quickly, right? And we're, we've kind of taken up a different model around, a diff different model of the exam development process and the design. And we've, um, you know, we're, our focus is to use um, AI, NLP, natural, national, natural language processing, mm -hmm. uh, machine learning, alongside community to help, uh, you know, just supercharge uh, you know the, the development process right get get the time down from months to weeks um, get the design down from weeks to days you know yeah. and then also the effort that it that that you're um, that's required uh, to develop these exams and I would say that the uh, one of the things that has made that possible you know when you talk about starting a business is you know when you have an idea you need to have a fundamental understanding of the technologies that are available to you mm -hmm. and kind of trends and you know and and so forth um you were you were one of the very first and very early customers that launched on um our remote proctoring platform uh, when we uh, owned innovative exams um and just think about the technologies that go into remote proctoring a lot of those technologies didn't exist and having an understanding of like, okay, how do you know the the around the corner? There's this technology that's going to allow uh, two browsers to connect to each other, mm -hmm. um, you know, which which was Web RTC, and understanding the stack that's required to make that work, and how that's going to be, you know, uh, now part of a, a, a browser technology, and it's not mm -hmm. install, you know, something they have to install. Anyways, that fundamental understanding of technology is so f it's so important to to to, to be able to be able to like you know when you see a business opportunity and then you have like a technology that you're that you've been working on and you understand and you can making those connections is such a big deal um you know people don't realize that like you know these technologies and uh, new mod models or you know just a business in general doesn't get started by on its own you really need like support very 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 early on um which you know you've given us obviously you're one of yeah. our you know one of the uh, first clients that launched on certiverse um you know and for us it's we you know we realize that there's so many opportunity with uh, you know the certification is life changing right mm -hmm. um, you know you, you uh, whether you take and you know you take a course online um, you learn your you know by yourself you download uh, you know packages and you install it on your computer and you figure things out for yourself uh, certification is how you validate somebody's mm -hmm. skills and um, you know so you know I love your mission of of building these certifications to validate individual skills and that they can put that you know, on their resume and say, I'm yeah. CIW uh, certified. Tell us a little bit about, you know, how you're designing, I guess, like the certification or the, you know, mm -hmm. the, uh, at a K through 12 level yeah. and also at the more at the professional right. level, like what's the, what's kind of like, what's the difference? What, you know, what's your vision around some of that? Okay. Yeah. You know, we, we all want to look for, if you're going to have a certification, the, the purpose of getting a certification is to help you get a job or advance in your career. So we look at, at jobs. Mm -hmm. What are the, what are the jobs? Where are, where is there a lack of employees for a particular responsibility? Mm -hmm. And and we see that, you know, there's a lot of new things coming in in AI. And, and AI is going to be in every industry. I mean, we see it in the automobile industry where they're, you know, got autonomous cars. That's AI. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, they need to have machine learning because they need to know how to improve. Um, and those types of things. You're going to have that in agriculture. All of those things are important. So as we look at a certification, we look at those various jobs, but then what do those individuals really need to know to perform on that job? And so those are the things that we need. And that's, I think, one of the areas that your platform really helps us in that is as we define what those things are and as we research and figure out how, to, how, to, how they 
multiple jobs may work into a particular certification, but it will help multiple areas. Um, your platform helps us in creating not only the objectives, but the, the items that we need for that. And so bringing in subject matter experts um, to participate in that, people that are already in that industry saying, you know, I really wish that people knew this, yes. or I really wish that I knew this when I started, it would have made things move much, much quicker and easier. And so bringing those individuals in and the crowdsourcing that you have with your platform is a, is a great um, facilitator of that. Yeah. And so that helps us move, can help us move quicker in developing that exam. And I, I, mean, I think that's important. And, you know, I think for your IC, ICT program um, and, the, and the CIW professional certification program, I think what people don't realize is that all these technologies, they may not, it may not be the, the only thing that they do, right? But it, yeah. but having a fundamental understanding of, okay, how can I, um, a job, you know, will require the understanding of AI, right? And, or, mm -hmm. or you know, it, it's really, a, a, I would say a competitive advantage if you can come in and you're, you know, and you're, and, um, you know, you're in an interview or you have a position where your job may not be AI related, but you can bring something to the table and you can say, you know, you can say to your manager or to the recruiter and say, you know what, uh, or to the hiring manager, you know, I understand, you know, whatever digital marketing, but you know, mm -hmm. there's, um, you know, but using AI to execute or whatever, uh, you know, it's and it, to, to really a AI and, and that data analytics aspect of, mm -hmm. of what will come with, with those, with that understanding into a digital marketing, it helps you, Re really refine very quickly and automatically what your customer really wants. I mean, when you go to Amazon, they're using AI. They know what you're looking for. They remember what you have looked for and searched for, and they bring more of those types of things to it. And that's digital marketing. And so as, w but there's some very important aspects underneath the hood of how that works. Mm -hmm. and. And somebody needs to know how to program it so that so that we we can accomplish that. And it there's there's a lot that we do in in our certifications. All of them, we're building in more of ethics and the legal issues and things that you need to be aware of because that's important. Because once you get some information about somebody, you can use that for good or you can use it for not good. Yeah, absolutely. And I think just going back to your point. You know, if you think about just data privacy in general, right? Mm -hmm. Like that, you know, you're as you're writing, writing, uh, writing a program, whether you know using Python to write a script yeah. for uh, you know an AI platform, a machine learning platform, or writing, um, you know, front end code, uh, you know, so yeah. forth. Uh, you have to understand why, you know, why there's there's security involved, or why there's you know you know there's uh, models for collecting less data, or only mm -hmm. collecting the data that you need, and you know. And some of that is obviously because of legal data, you know, yeah. just uh, ethical reasons as well. Mm -hmm. um, but that, yeah, I think that's important to cover not just the technology, but also some of the other fundamental kind of aspects yeah. of it. Um, but one of the areas that we've, that we're, you know, we're really very interested in is, I think along the way, um, if you think about like the certification process or any, any, just taking an exam, right? Mm -hmm. We started with. Uh, a very long process to develop the exams, and once these, you know, and very costly. Then once these exams are developed, right, um, you know, it's like it's like it's like moving money around the world, right? And, and you have yeah. to like, you know, you protect it with a kind of like a you know a Brinks truck, right, an armored mm -hmm. truck to you know, it's, and so forth. And those are your test centers, right? And then uh, it adds a little, it, it adds a lot of friction to um, you know folks that want to that want to get certified, right? Because now they have to drive to a test center mm -hmm. uh, and so forth, and um, you know, we've obviously seen a lot of trends on um, to online proctoring where uh, we're now, you know, that's that was our mission with start with uh, innovative exams. Our mission mm -hmm. was to, to take that exam closer to the candidates. Right. right. And we started with, um, you know, with our self-service testing kiosks, Your which kiosks. Mm -hmm. the kiosks were great because you can you can deploy them very easily for a few thousand dollars. You can turn, um, you know, an office center, uh, a school a library into mm -hmm. a professional testing center, right? With high security and so forth. And it really did, the kiosk did really, it literally paralleled the, the security that you would have at right. a testing center. And then that, you know, the, as technologies evolved, um, you know, we talked about, I was talking about signaling and WebRTC and I'm like, oh my God, we can, we can definitely leverage this and then have mm -hmm. somebody take an exam on their browser at home, right? And that opened things up. 
um, you know, from my perspective, like our vision and, you know, we're, we, we think about the candidate a lot because, you know, I've taken certification exams. Yeah. Um, my, in my day, they were in testing centers, you know, but, yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, we think about like just reducing the friction um, that's required to take an exam, right? Because, you know, we feel both the cost, right? Mm -hmm. Cost is a big, a big, mm -hmm. uh, 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 you know, it, it it's a friction point, right? Because yeah. you're it, if you're taking an exam and it costs two hundred and fifty dollars versus uh, ninety five dollars, and you get you get certified, or fifty dollars, that's a big difference, right? You're yeah. opening up the market, and cost obviously, um, you know, uh, an exam has a lot of attri you know cost attributions to it. It has you know it, if if you're taking it in a physical location, that's a much higher cost than if you're right. taking it online, um, and so forth. There's a lot of you know that's so I think that that plays a big factor in it. Um, but also for us, like it's important, you know, we, we're looking for how do we remove friction points so that we can ultimately get that exam, um, you know, administered, mm -hmm. uh, both from a cost per perspective yeah. and just an experience perspective. If you want to see the full conversation between Todd and Ruben, please visit Serverse and their social media pages. Um, they have a whole uh, podcast slash vlog series called Valid Questions, and you can see the whole conversation between Todd and Ruben there. Also, if you're finding this content helpful and a and useful resource, I would encourage you and invite you to uh, like us, follow us, subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on our social media platforms. If you have any thoughts around future topics for TikTok Tuesdays, send some information and feedback. We'd love to hear more. But until then, we'll see you on the next TikTok Tuesday conversation. Take care.